This is my story so far. I can't believe this is my movie. Like, I'm still in shock. I'm grieving as I'm healing and as I'm fighting. I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. After my mastectomy, they told me that I needed chemotherapy, that it was in my lymph nodes. Cancer will take whatever you let it. It will take your soul, it'll take your hair, and that might seem small to you, but it's not. Cancer wants everything. It feels like something. It was important story. for me to tell my story in real time because I knew that if I told it at the beginning, people would go get tested. It's a rainy day, but this is the happy part of my day. You want to keep as much of your routine as possible. When I walk into the studio, I feel loved. I feel safe. The Today family is like my family. My Wednesday warrior today. It feels like home to me. Everyone knows what I'm going through, and everyone's amazing. You think I'm gonna let cancer take away something else I love to do? That everybody loves a good deal. Jill steals and deals. When I look in the mirror at the show, I can forget for a second. And I think people are like, oh, you know, your surgery's done. Like, you're good. So I'm numbing the port, and this is just so the needle later doesn't hurt as much. I leave the show, and then I'm back in reality, and I'm fighting for my life. I feel like I am a shell of myself, at least for me. It's not the movie that you picture. It's not throwing up in the bathroom. I sleep all day for five days. Chemo has something called the red devil that I'm getting. That's what they need to fight cancer. Chemo's my friend, fighting against this horrible disease. Today is my fourth chemo treatment. We're done with the red devil. <laughs> that deserves a high five. Yeah. Cold capping is a huge one. They freeze the follicles, so it allows you to keep your hair during chemotherapy. For me, my hair's always been something that makes me feel like myself. This part doesn't hurt. It just, it looks scarier than it is. I look in the mirror, my body's like not my body anymore. I just had a mastectomy like six weeks ago, you know? So I'm in physical therapy for that and trying to get my like range of motion back. Breathe out. A year ago, September 10th, I was married. I felt so beautiful that night and I felt so happy and I enjoyed every pig in a blanket. <laughs> but I can't help but think like I had cancer there. And if I had caught it then, would I not have needed all of this? My mom said something to me that really resonated. She sends quotes every morning. A strong woman is not the one who doesn't cry. A strong woman is the one who cries and sheds, sheds tears for a moment and then gets up and fights again. And that's what you do. Love you. This minute, we're in a fight for my life. I will own forever that I had this and that I fought it and that I beat it, because I'll beat it. Jill. Yes, you uh, Hi, Jill. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> you know we want to hug you. The part of your chemo is... It's like you can't go in yeah. public places. I yeah. come into work and I... am so careful with you. But, you, you know... Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep One breath. more. Yeah. You don't have to be... Anything. Perfect. No. You don't have no. to show the world, oh, it's not... No. It's This is real. This is what's really going yeah. on. Yeah. And I want to use this time properly because mm -hmm. this could have been avoided. OK, at, through genetic testing. And I, again, for people who didn't know, my grandmother, we lost her to breast cancer. My mother is a 25 year breast cancer survivor. Only badass people yeah. get cancer. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You need it to deal with this. And if I had known it, it's on my father's side, doesn't run in my father's family. And if I had known this could have been prevented. And so I could have taken steps. And so that's one main message I want to make sure I get out, and we'll talk about that. The other main message I want to say is I have had so many, our viewers are just so powerful, is that everyone's either going through this mm -hmm. or has someone going through this. And what I want to say is the don't be scared to go get that test. Don't, mm -hmm. don't not get your mammogram. Don't, not, don't put it off. The alternative is worth, worse. Get the information. Use it for your power. Mm -hmm. And you take the power into your own hands mm -hmm. so that you can take steps. I just want the information out there. You know what? I think you did that. You have done that. People know. I think what I'm marveling at in this moment is I see you walk in the studio. I see you walk in saying hi to everybody just like the old Jill. 
carrying what you're carrying. And I know that you get strength from your family because I know they adore you. But will you explain what that's like to have these two strange worlds that yeah. you're carrying on? It's interesting. We talk about that all the time because like it's I know like what you see. Like I see yeah. myself too in the jumpsuit with the yeah. hair, but like yeah. the cold capping works, yeah. you know, but it's not foolproof. Yeah. I've lost about 30%, you yeah. know, and so you know, that's odd for me to look in my mirror in the mirror. Um I have to say it's harder. I'm happy it's me and not my husband and not my mm -hmm. parents because I can't imagine watching someone go through this. Mm -hmm. But um the two are confusing. Mm -hmm. There's a disconnect. Mm -hmm. And so um, the non-treatment weeks, mm -hmm. um, um, I could get my yeah. mojo going. Yeah. I could look at myself and I can come to work. Yeah. But the treatment weeks yeah. are effing hell. Yeah. Yeah. And anyone who's fighting breast cancer mm -hmm. and you've done it, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing but. And that's why Dr. Port's here. I want to leave this with hope. Mm -hmm and advancements in the technology so that you can live through chemotherapy and treatment if you need it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, well, first of all, I'm so proud of her. Mm -hmm. And I echo what, what Jill said in the sense that, um, don't kid yourself, she looks amazing. She pulls it all together, but it is really hard mm -hmm. to go through chemo. Yeah. Um, you know, early detection, early diagnosis yeah. is key and gives you the best chance of survival and also the best chance of survival doing less. There is no one size fits all yeah. and that's the huge advancement. Yeah. Yeah. Not everyone needs chemotherapy, but when you do, it certainly works. This and conversation is gonna be continued, guys, in our third hour, but Jill, wow. You're something special. We knew that before, but wow. We know it tenfold now. We yeah. love you. We love you. We love you. We want to hug yeah, you so you. bad. <laughs> we love Thank you. Thank you for okay. letting me share this. All right. There's no question that mm -hmm. you are helping people. Mm -hmm. And there are people mm -hmm. who are going to call today, today and get their mammogram yep. or they're going to get that genetic testing. Yep. They are. Yep. Because you have the courage to be here, mm -hmm. and I know it's not easy. So mm -hmm. thank you, Jill. Thank you, Dr. Thank Ford, you. as always. Mm -hmm. And you can read more about Jill's journey and get the details in case you do want to yes. get tested and find out what you can do. Jill wants you to do it now. Don't wait <laughs> yeah. until it's too late. Do it now. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.